first one says that um, number one we have three over six minus one over three for this the LCM is six right yeah so whenever you're given work to do please always show this step okay Then six and six give me one. Then one times three give me three. Then three and six give me two. And two times one gives me this. Then I have three minus two, which is one over six. So did you get one over six? Yes. Okay. Number two says two over five plus three over 10 so the LCM is 10 because 10 is a multiple of 5 so 5 in 10 that's 2 then 2 times 2 gives me 4 then 10 in 10 that's 1 1 times 3 gives me 3 and that is 7 over 10 then number 3 we have 1 over 9, so you got the 7 over 10 as well. 1 over 9 plus 2 over 3. That means you are really, you have really mastered all of these things. So 9 in 9, that's 1. 1 times 1, that's 1. Then 3 in 9, that's um, 3 times 2, that's 6. So 1 plus 6 gives me what? 1 plus 6 gives what? Seven. Uh -huh. You see, I cannot really tell what good, what went wrong here because you did not show this step. And if you show this step, I would know what happened there, okay? okay? So next time, always show all the steps. So 9 in 9 is 1. 1 times 1 above, that's 1. 3 in 9 is 3. 3 times 2, that's 6. So we have 1 plus 6, that is 7 over 9. So this third one isn't correct. But let's continue. Number four. Five over six plus one over four. So showing the next step, the LCM is going to be 12 because multiple of six is 12 and it's also a multiple of uh, four. So six and 12, that's two. Two times five, that's 10. And um, four in 12, that's three. Three times one is three. So you get 13 over 12 which is correct with what you have gotten one over number of uh, two over wait a minute one over number two over what 12 right um. mm -hmm. so you're not supposed to so even if you want to reduce it that would be one over number one over six right yeah so I'll just give you this. I'll take that as a mistake because it doesn't mean you don't know what to do. You already did this changing of um, mix, I mean, improper fraction to mixed number. You did it last time, right? Yes. Okay, good. Then number five. Let me move the question down so that we can look at number five to the rest of the page. So for number five, we have two over three minus one over four. Two over three minus one over four. So you remember, when it's minus, we just follow the minus sign, okay? Okay. Now, so this is going to be, the LCM is 12, and three in 12, that's four. Four times two, that's eight. Four in 12, that's three. Three times one, that's three. So... We're going to have 8 minus 3, that's 5 over 12. And let me check. Yeah, that's correct. Then the next one, number 6. We have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2, okay? I said it's 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2, right? 
though it's four over eight, but four over eight is the same as one over two. Is that correct? So you can just say half plus half, and you can just say your answer is one. Or, or you can say LCM is eight, two in eight, that is four. Four times one, that's four. Eight in eight, that is one. One times four, that's four. Then you have four plus four, that's eight over eight, which is also one. So either you get one this way, or you get one this way. So you got your one. Then, you can see it's correct, right? Then number, yeah. Yeah, number seven, let me see. For number seven, we have three over four minus six over eight. Mm. This is six over eight. It's the same thing as two over three, okay? Okay. Oh, let's say three over four right there. Not two, right? So if I, it's three over four, two here, three, two here, four. So I can say three over four minus three over four. That will give me zero. Okay. Okay. Or I can say the LCM is eight. Four in eight, two. Two times three. That's six. Eight in eight, one. One times six. That's six. Six minus six, zero over eight. And that is zero. So maybe you're confused with that one. Oh, you got zero over eight, which is correct. So just always turn it to zero, okay? Yeah, number eight. Number eight. Can you hear me? We have yes. two over three plus three over four. Okay, let's see this one. The LCM is 12, 3 here, that's um, 4 times 2, 8, then 4 here, 3 times, that's 3 times 3 is 9. So this is going to be 17 over 12, then that's 1 whole number, 5 over 12. 1, wow, uh, this is fantastic, you know, you get it. Then number 9, we have 3 over 4. Minus 1 over 6. Then the LCM of this is um, 12. 4 in 12. That's 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 6 in 12. That's 2. 2 times 1 is 2. So then we have 7. I think we've done something like this. Maybe the question was repeated. 7 over 12. Let me check up there. I got one that looks like this. Okay, that one was 7 over 9. Okay, then the next one, number 10. For number 10, we have 3 over 5, 3 over 5, ten. let's see, plus 2 over 3. The LCM is 15 because 5 is bigger than 3 and it's not a multiple of 3. So the next multiple of 5 that's also a multiple of 3 is 15. 5 in 3, uh, 5 in 15 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9. Then 3 in 15 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10. So this is going to be 19 over 15. And that's 1 over number 4 over 15. So let me see there. One old number. Okay, you got this one. You, got, uh, you didn't get this number 12, okay? Assignment 2. So number number 11 now. 8 over 10 minus 2 over 5. Number 11. 8 over 10 minus 2 over 5. The LCM is 10. 10 in 10 is 1. 1 times 8, 8. 5 in 10 is 2. 2 times 2, that's 4. 8 minus 4 is 4 over 10, which in turn is 2 over 5. 
in lowest form. So let's see whether you get two five for number eleven. You got twelve over. Is this twelve over ten? Which one? Number eleven. Uh, um, twelve over ten. Twelve over ten. You remember, you said eight minus four. You did eight plus four. That's why you got twelve. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, are you getting it now? Yeah. Now let's look at the last one, which is three over five plus one over five. Oh, I did. Yeah. Okay, that other one, it can also be 69 times. That's correct. So, okay. Let me. Okay, so this next one again. Right? Okay, good. So we have 56,335 as you mentioned. So it says write the place value of the underlying digit. So we know that the place value of 3 here is 100, right? Yes. That is 300. And the place value of 4 is 1000. Why the place value of four here is ten thousand? Okay. Ten thousand. And how much one is one hundred thousand? Mm, wait a minute. They have reduced the number of digits. It's still ten thousand. Okay. Is that clear? Mm. Because this is air, this is air, this is air, this is air, and this is air, right? I don't understand. Oh, then, oh, then. It's still the same thing, you know. You understand that this is uh, 10,000, right? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So, what number? One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Uh, uh. So one, two, three, four, five, right? Yes. And uh, so they didn't write the same length of numbers. So this is also 10,000. 10,000. Then you obviously you know this is 100. So 100. And this one is thousand, right? Yeah. Thousand. Okay. Now the second one says we should write the name of the numbers. Write the number names. Six three six seven thousand three hundred, right? Yeah. So we're at sixty seven. thousand three hundred three hundred or better still I think I should type it it should contain better if I type it so let's see Sixty seven. Oh, that seven should be small. So seven thousand three hundred. That's a comma. Hundred. Okay. It still didn't contain that line, but still like this. You can still see it, right? Yep. Okay, let me try to reduce the font there. So instead of 28, I'll pick um, 
Then the next one, oh, this one is number two here. So what's the next number? One hundred and thirty two thousand. Mm -hmm. 132,000 uh -huh. and 10, right? Right, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So the next one. Yes. Yeah, next one. What is the next one? Yes. Seven. Seven hundred. Um. Seven hundred thousand. Five. Five hundred and what? That we have here. We have the first digit there, that three that was on the line, that stands as 100, as you have said. Then four here is four is thousands, that's four thousand. Then four here is four ten thousands, that's forty thousand. Then three here is three ten thousand, that's thirty thousand. And one here is just hundred. You can see it, right? You can see the screen, right? Yes. Okay. Then one is one thousand. Yeah. Now, having done that, they gave us this one to write the name of the uh, word numbers. So sixty-seven thousand and three hundred. So seven thousand three hundred. Then this other one is one hundred and thirty-two thousand and ten, since there is no hundred there. Then next one. 700,565 and the next one 77,470 and the, uh, the second and last one 82,003 and the last but not the least 305,567 so I will try to send you an assignment relating to this, okay? Okay, sir. Mm, I believe it's going to be easy, but don't just say it's going to be easy. Just try as much as possible to pay attention to it, okay? Okay, so. all right, and we're gonna meet tomorrow for piano class. Tomorrow's class, I think we can meet by four o'clock instead of four thirty. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, can you yes, hear me? sir. Okay, okay, thank you. So, I can tomorrow... hear you perfectly. Okay, so tomorrow's class will be by 4 o'clock instead of 4.30 by 16.00, okay? To 17.00, that's tomorrow. It's going to be 4 o'clock. You said what? Okay, it can be 4 o'clock, right? Okay. Okay. So, um, that's our piano class, right? Yeah. What about Sunday? Yes, yeah, Sunday will still be 3 o'clock, which is 15 zero zero to 16 zero zero. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so I think that's uh, where we'll be rounding up the class for today. Um, see you tomorrow by Ghost Crispy. Okay. Yeah, bye for now. Bye.